we go. And after all the anticipation, we're underway. The Cowboys are currently ranked number 21 in the country, Dick. Hey, you're going to be in the top 25 when you have players that share the ball and are unselfish. And now getting set up here in a four round one. I love the four round one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you've got to give help on him and it leaves people open on the perimeter and they better be able to make that open jump shot. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Waters handles the pass. He shoots from outside. Perfectly executed. Controlling the ball. From beyond the arc. Off the mark. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Young loads. Bust the J. Great looking shot. Good pass off the dribble. Different kind of two-man game right there. One guy drives and passes. One guy catches and shoots. In the lane. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. They look to get it to the inside. Number 12 picks up the foul. First personal foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. First shot, good. Three minutes left on the game clock. Cross court. He attempts the jump shot. Nails a sweet jumper. Now the high screen. For the bucket. He shows the sweet touch. Waters receives the ball. They go into the low block. Goes up. Missed the jumper. Coach giving some direction as his team gets into the offense. Number one takes the pass. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Rivalry's the theme. Let's go courtside to EA, Aaron Andrews. Aaron, I got to think you can really feel it over there. Rivalry games are big, and you've got a great seat. Brad, it's been a grinder. The pace is quick. Emotions are high. This is what rivalries are all about. Our trusty sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews, keeping everyone on their toes there on the sideline. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. The high screen. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. On the top of the circle. A nice job of getting to the hole right there, Dick. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. Here's a double team. Great shot block right there. Had some good movement on the offensive side. It sticks. He can't stay with him one-on-one. -on -one. Sure he can, but he's not. He shoots from the corner. The missed shot. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Waters handles the feed. Out 
of bounds and a change in possession. Let's take a look at this young guy's great performance tonight, Dick. I tell you, Brad, he's been awesome, baby. He's a PT beer. I tell you, what a great performance. Shot clock is dead. The ball stripped. Smith receives the ball. With a big shot, he misses the fadeaway. The Sooners are ahead by five. Oklahoma is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for a high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Dick, you start off a second half, and those first few minutes are so important. You've always told me that. Well, I tell you, you better protect the basketball, get good shots. That's essential. You don't want to turn the ball over early. On the dribble, gives it up. He just threw it out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Look at that spacing. He takes a three. Nope. Goes up for two. Sinks the shot. Kicks it out. He puts up the J. Jumper won't go. What a response. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Gotta take some pride on a defensive end. Number 12 is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Makes it. They got him both. Puts up the jumper. Missed it. Unloads a three. Knocks it down. And now they'll bring it up. Goes up for two. Makes it. Three minutes left on the game clock. Turnover by the senior. Goes up with a shot. Oh, yes. Jumper. Excellent jump shot right there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Alley-oop. 
He pointed to the rim, then went up and got it, baby. That was a beautifully executed play. They'll work it around the arc. From way outside. Can't connect. The Sooners are in a great position with the time and score on their side, and they're going to have to play more in the half court now, Dick. They should definitely consider running longer half court sets at this point. The time and score are in their favor, so it only makes sense. This game is definitely about rivalry. Let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Aaron, I think you can feel the crowd's reaction to this game. Good first half, and this rivalry matchup stayed that way here in the second half. Brad, we all know that these teams have come to play. It's definitely going to be a fight to the end. I overheard the coaches saying that it's about defensive stops and mistake-free basketball. The action is intense, and the coaches and players have that bend but don't break mentality. Thanks, Aaron. College basketball's got some of the best rivalries in sport. Wouldn't you agree, Dick? I sure would. What better example than the two teams that are on the court right now? The atmosphere and intensity when these two schools meet each year is electric. Everyone from the fans to the starting five know how important this game is. One minute left on the game clock. Dumps it in. He puts up the J. Rims out. Was that beautiful or what? The lead trickles down to four. Time is either your best friend or your worst enemy at this point, Brad. Up and inside. He attempts the trifecta. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. And they burn a timeout here. We'll have more NCAA coverage coming up in a moment. Based on the score and the time remaining, the coaches will be looking to calm their players down. Adrenaline levels may have shot up over the last few possession guys, so the coach will be looking to reduce any anxiety. It should make for an interesting finish. Back up to you. Well, Dick, execution coming out of a timeout is really important, wouldn't you say? Definitely, Brad. The play you call or defense you decide to run coming out of a timeout could make or break you. Good coaches will always ensure that their teams are clear on the expectations coming out of a timeout. He unloads a three, nails the J. And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. the clock again. <laughs> Tries for two with a layup. <laughs> On the outside. <laughs> he attempts the trifecta. Nails the sweet jumper. While we've got a second, let's take a look at two individuals selected, Dick, as our players of the game. They were both great to watch all game long. Their coaches and teammates have to be happy with what they've done out there today. Here's a look at our main stars, our players of the game. I tell you, being recognized as the player of the game is a great accomplishment for this young guy. However, getting the W is much better.